Also this morning, investigators say the children's book author accused of poisoning her own husband to death might have had help and even gotten the idea from her mom. New court documents say Corey Richen's mother also had a partner die of a suspicious drug overdose, and she might have played a role in her son-in-law's death. Richens was in court on Tuesday for a separate charge as these allegations were revealed. Kelsey's been digging into this story for us. Kelsey, you got to tell us, why are detectives thinking this could have been a family affair? Well, Margie, first I'll tell you that hearing has now been overshadowed. All eyes are really on this new bizarre update in the case. According to an unsealed search warrant, we are now learning that Richen's mother's former lover also died from a drug overdose back in 2006. It's now led investigators to speculate whether her mother has played a role in her son-in-law's death. Now, in the search warrant, detectives say that Richen's mother, Lisa Darden, had a romantic relationship with a woman. Her partner then died suddenly. Detectives say, quote, she was not in a state of recovery from addiction at the time of her death. According to investigators, an autopsy then found that she died from an oxycodone overdose. Her partner had a prescription for the drug, but also struggled with addiction. In that search warrant, the detective continued, quote, Based on my training and experience, this would likely rule out the possibility of an accidental overdose. Also really interesting to point out that Darden was named as a beneficiary in her partner's will shortly before she died. Detectives say that the parallels in her daughter's case are quite shocking. It is also raising a lot of questions and red flags for investigators. 34-year-old Corey Richens has been charged for allegedly murdering her husband after giving him a Moscow mule. That cocktail was allegedly laced with a lethal amount of fentanyl before he went to bed back in March of 2022. Prosecutors say the motive was to cash in on at least five life insurance policies that she had taken out in her husband's name. We have reached out to both attorneys in this case and we are still waiting for comment. We are also learning that Corey Richens' next preliminary hearing date is set for April 17th. Marky? Yeah, this story just keep on growing new legs. Really bizarre. Kelsey, bizarre. thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.